porn open the other tabs so I can get it right. So I'm like, yeah, like, can, you, can your hands do that? Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, uh, it's hard to come out to your parents as a lesbian werewolf erotica writer. Uh, there's a lot happening there, and any one of those things on its own is more than enough to make most Albertan parents kind of take a step back and need a moment. Um, I was raised in Calgary. My mom's from Edmonton, and my dad's from a small town outside of Medicine Hat. So a lot of my family is conservative, Albertan, uh, generally good people, but Alberta. It's, it's different than Vancouver. Um, in 2012, I came out a little. Um, not super gay, a little queer, um, moved in with my female partner and two years after that we moved out here to Vancouver um, and then I got really queer. Uh, you have a lot more space in Vancouver to do that, there's a lot more community, a lot more room um, and I found myself working on a novel uh, about lesbian <laughs> werewolves that was quite erotic because I like to write and read romance and that's a huge part of it. Um, so I didn't tell my family that I was working on this. I felt quite protective of it um, and, and vulnerable. Um, this was you know, a huge joyful part of my life and I wasn't sure if they would understand it or appreciate it. So I kept that you know, kind of close to my chest. Um, I finished the book, sent it out to a publisher and heard back about a month later saying that they wanted to publish it. Um, at that point I knew I had to let my parents know because this is a huge deal, like this is all I've ever wanted to do is, is write and now I was having this opportunity. Um, and I'm, yeah, it, it was incredible. Um, my parents were so supportive and continue to be so supportive. My sisters were really excited. Um, and so I got this really sort of instant, really positive reaction from my family um, right away, which was beautiful. And then as I went through the publishing process, you, you become more public. You have a, a Twitter, a Facebook account. You're very publicly queer for the genre I'm writing in. Um, and I began to worry what kind of reaction I was going to get from my extended family um, about this work that I was doing. Um, so it was, I was quite, quite nervous. I kind of hoped they would just ignore it, that we just politely wouldn't talk about it, and that would be fine, because if we didn't talk about it, you know, that, to me, that would be the best case scenario. Um, and I, I was really wrong. My entire extended family has been overwhelmingly supportive of what I do. They've all read the book. Um, my grandfather told me last time I was down that he was quite proud of me, um, and it's, Unbelievable to me that he's read the whole thing because it's again <laughs> sort of explicit lesbian sex. Sorry, Grandpa. Um, and now my my second book has just come out, and it's it's the same again. You know, my aunts are rereading the first one so that they're caught up for the second. Um, and it going back home, I don't feel like I have to leave parts of myself in Vancouver anymore. I get to bring them with me, and they're really embraced. And I don't think I'd have had that opportunity if it weren't for this this book, this visible thing that I can hand out and say, this is me, and they can go, we love that. We respect it, we're proud of it, and thank you. Thank you for sharing. And that's just really been wonderful. Mm -hmm.